I'm going to demo something really cool today called Y Throttle. Um, this is my sort of not really model railroad, model railroad. And here are a couple of throttles. Now I use the Digitrax system to control my trains. Um, like NCE Lens and CVP, it's a DCC system that has throttles and over there is a command station and booster which powers all the track. Now previously each user had to have a throttle like this. Now this throttle costs about $180 and it can only be used to control trains. It also has a sort of old user interface of clicking on individual buttons. Ever since I got my iPod Touch, I always wondered why I couldn't use the iPod Touch to control my trains. See, my iPod Touch is connected to my wireless network, which is also connected to my laptop computer. The only missing link between the iPod and the trains over there is a USB connection between the laptop and Digitrax's LocoNet system. I accomplished this using a LocoBuffer USB from RR Circuits. Now that I have all the hardware in place, one additional piece of software is needed. Something to link the iPod Touch to the laptop and allow it to control the train over there. That comes in the form of a program called Y Throttle on the iPod Touch and the free JMRI, Java Model Railroad Interface, on the laptop. Now here I'm going to start the Y Throttle server and demo it. There's the server application running on the laptop computer. And here on the iPod Touch is the Y Throttle application. Now I'm going to go over here and take control of a locomotive using Y Throttle. There's a locomotive, Cast Scenic number 5, uh, which I'll likely be riding behind in about a week or two at the Cast Scenic Railroad. Now here in Y Throttle, I am going to set the locomotive using the touch screen. And there I have control of five. Now I can go back over to the throttle area and I have control over the locomotive using the wireless network. I believe that Y Throttle is the future of controlling our trains because Y Throttle can be used with any DCC system. For example, I can use Y Throttle on my Digitrack system, but I could also use it on an NCE system if the owner of that system had their computer connected to the system and had their computer connected to their wireless network. What is also great about this system is that it does not require additional hardware. It uses existing iPod Touches, existing wireless networks, and existing computers. This allows you to add many throttles without a large additional cost. And here we have Susquehanna 142 going backwards extremely fast. 
And again, I'm controlling it all with Y-throttle. 